Alright, what's guys, Stream Coded, and today I'm going to be telling you guys why I started cubing. So I feel like every single one of us has a more or less unique story about how we started cubing, and today I'm going to be telling you guys mine. Before we start the video though, I just want to remind you guys that if you aren't subscribed to the channel, I highly recommend you do because we upload videos each and every single day. And the worst thing that could possibly happen is that you unsubscribe later, so might as well just subscribe right now so that you don't forget. Now I guess to start off the story, I'm just going to be talking about the first time I actually saw someone solving a Rubik's Cube. So it was in 6th grade, and then I remember after PE, basically the entire class was huddling around this one kid, and that one kid was solving a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, we're just like 20 seconds so he was pretty good and all of us started getting really excited and then when he actually solved it that blew my mind you know seeing someone use finger tricks and like seeing a speed cube something about it just had a really distinct impression on me now fast forward a couple months and cubing has basically taken over my entire school so there was now you know like 20 to 30 to 40 cubers and they're all just like you know bringing their cubes to class and turning them and i thought it was super cool they would have these speed cubes that would turn really well and even though i didn't know how to solve a cube i loved just like turning these speed cubes because it felt so satisfying because it was actually you know not super slow like a rubik's brand that being said i didn't really know which ones were good or where to buy them. So I asked my friend to go get me one and she did. She got me a way long version 2. That was my very first cube and I was basically just trying to learn how to solve it from there. Now I'm actually solving it. Uh, this actually took a long time so I was the type of person that just had a lot of trouble at first trying to learn how to solve the cube. Remember this is me in 6th grade so I'm just kind of stupid in general so I'm like you know going online and like finding websites to find algorithms and I just didn't really understand it in general. So for a full month I would basically just be like making patterns or like you know twisting corners and everything and like just doing like random finger tricks without actually knowing how to solve the cube and whenever I did scramble it, I'll just take it apart and put it back together. Now, finally, after a month, I was able to solve my cube. I learned from the Surge V tutorial, it's just something that made a lot of sense to me personally. It's also why I start on green because in the tutorial, he started on green, so I just started doing that, and I've just been starting on the green cross ever since then. So I finally learned how to solve the cube, and from there, I was pretty much hooked. You know, the cubing bug really got me, so I was now just like sitting on my bed, just solving every single day, and you know, I was able to get to like two minutes down to like one minute. And once again, cubing was really big at my school. I remember there was this one kid, he could solve a cube in around 14 seconds seconds and I remember seeing him do that was like my motivation I was like you know what I'm gonna beat you one day so <laughs> I just like kept on practicing you know I got really into the cubing community on YouTube I started watching YouTubers like JR Cuber, Style of the King uh, just like those type of guys I was also just spending a bunch of money on new cubes because I just really loved it and every single time a new cube would come I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to this it felt like Christmas and then it really just continued like that you know I kept on getting more cubes I got like a 4 of 4 a 5 of 5 a 7 by 7 and you know I was really just solving away uh, about one year later I got to a point where I was able to beat the kid that was the fastest at my school so I don't know why I felt so prideful about that but I did. Around then I also started the YouTube channel and here we are so uh, I think that was a good choice. So yeah that's my story on how I started cubing and now it's your turn. So how did you guys start cubing? I know there's a lot of great stories out there. You know some people watched like the Pursuit of Happiness and like saw someone solve a Rubik's Cube there and thought oh I want to solve it or maybe you got a cube for Christmas and you wanted to solve it or like a family member. I don't know tell me in the comments below I'd love to know. And who knows if I get some great stories then maybe I'll share in my next video. Alright that's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.